Do you want to get one of the best free alternatives to Photoshop on your PC? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Paint.net. Coming up next on Your Six Studios. So let's go ahead and download Paint.net on our computer right now. The first thing that we're going to want to do is open up a web browser. I'm going to go, go ahead and open up Google Chrome. And then I'm going to go to google.com and I'm going to type in getpaint.net. Otherwise, you can go ahead and type in getpaint.net into your address bar. But here it is, the first link up on top, paint.net. So let's go ahead and click on this first link on Google. And it's going to bring us to this page. And the website doesn't look like much. However, you can still download it free from here. If you go to the download section on top, it's going to give you a couple different options. One is a paid version, which will automatically update paint.net in the background from the Windows Store. And this does cost money. There is a free version just below it here. Let's go ahead and click on this free version by selecting this icon. And then there will be a free download now section right up on top. Let's go ahead and select that. Paint.net 4.2 is the current one right now. And it's downloading in the bottom left. Let's go in and click on this up arrow and go to open when done. And I have the paint.net file in this folder. Let's go ahead and double select it. Now, instead of going to express install, I highly recommend going to custom and then going to next. A lot of times with just software in general, there's a lot of bloatware that comes with it. If you go to custom, you can unselect that. And then you don't have to download stuff in the background. And go ahead and check mark anything you want. If you want a shortcut to your desktop or if you want it to automatically check for updates in the background, then I'm going to check mark this for checking for pre release beta versions of Paint.net. And then I'm going to go to next. And this is important right here. Make sure you remember where you save your folder of Paint.net to. This will be important when you go ahead and download add-ons later on. So remember where you save. The default one will be under your program files on the C drive under paint.net. So let's go to next. Go to next and we'll start the installation. Okay, so paint.net is finished installing. Let's go ahead and check mark here. Start paint.net and go to finish. So this is paint.net. It's going to look very similar to the old school Microsoft Paint. You have your tools on the left, your history layers on the right, and then your colors bottom left. Then at the top, you have your edit, view, image, layers, adjustments, and effects. Now, if you want to learn how to get all these cool effects I have on here, these are called plugins. And these are what make Paint.net so amazing. You have to download these from the Paint.net website and then add them into the effects folder for Paint.net. And with all these cool effects, Paint.net becomes one of the best alternatives to Photoshop. You can do some amazing photo edits on here. And you can even add a chroma key for green screens. And if you want to learn how to add effects to Paint.net to make it one of the best free alternatives to Photoshop out there, go ahead and click the card that's popping up now. If this video helped you out installing Paint.net on your computer, make sure to leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below and check out some of the other videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.